Gradient fill. Gradient fill is a type of hatch. So if I go up to, into my hatch pattern and I choose the type of hatch to be gradient. First thing I need to do for the gradient, the gradient is a combination of two colors. I need to pick my two colors. So since I'm going to put a hatch pattern in my fairway, I'm going to pick two different color greens. So I'll pick 96. I'll pick down here and I'll pick color 70. Now, over here in the pattern, when I hit the down arrow, I have a variety of patterns. And here I have a gradient linear, so it goes from one side to another. So I'll come down here and I'll pick. And you can see it goes from one color to the other. And I'll close the hatch creator here. So now I'm going to change layers and I'm going to go to my, my green here. And I can come over here and choose my hatch or I can go straight to gradient. And when it goes to gradient, it automatically fills in the gradient for the type and goes right to my patterns. I can pick two different colors here. So maybe I'll pick uh, maybe these two different colors just to have some different variety here. And this time I can pick a different shape. So uh, in this case, I might go with a sphere shape. So when I pick over here, you can see I have two different colors. I have the lighter color in the middle and the darker color around the outside. So I'm going to close the, the uh, hatch editor. And so I can go along and come down here to my gradient. And I can then choose my colors. And I'll do a sand trap next here. <clears throat> I'll do, and I can go down and hit more colors, by the way. And I can. I go to any method of picking my sand here, so I can go and pick uh, maybe an orangish, brownish color. All right, for one color, and I'll pick kind of a more of more colors, and I'll pick on the other side of the fence a little tannish color there. And in my types, I have all these different types. So I have inverted, I have hemisphere. Um, so I have curved, so I'll go with the hemisphere here, I'll pick, and it pulls it around one half of the item is the hemisphere. So the gradients provide a great way to simulate transitions between light and dark colors, and we can change the pattern of how we want it to be, and we can change the different colors. And also, when I come up into my gradient, I can change my angle if I need to. My angle can turn then that if I want the light and dark to go the different direction, let's say. So instead of going left to right, greenish to yellowish, I could have yellow to green top to bottom if I rotated the angle 90 degrees, for example. So you'll find gradients are a great artistic way to show some different types of um, fills that will uh, show a lot of different color. All right.